Hey everyone, my name is Alexis and I'm a macro photographer. Today, for my first video, I thought I would just take you along for a short forest walk, show some of my equipment and my technique, and yeah, let's see what we can find. So, I'll start by quickly going over what equipment I'm currently using for macro photography. My camera right now is the Fujifilm X-H2, which has a 40 megapixel sensor, which is great for getting loads of detail in macro photography. It's also quite rugged and can keep up quite well with the fast bursts that I need for focus stacking. Currently, my only lens that I have for this camera is the Laowa 25mm 2.5 to 5x Ultra Macro, which is quite limited because it only can shoot at very high magnifications, which means that unlike a normal macro lens, I can't take non-macro images. I can't zoom out to further away objects. But since most of what I shoot is very, very small organisms, such as springtails or other small insects and spiders, that isn't a big deal for me. And along with the lens, one of the most important things in macro photography is good lighting. And for that, I use currently just an old Nikon flash, which is nothing special, but it gets the job done and can keep up well enough with faster shooting. And more importantly, this is the Cygnus Tech Diffuser, which basically softens the light, spreads it out, and gives much softer highlights and shadows, which allows for much more beautiful lighting in photos overall. As you can maybe see, it's winter here, which means that there aren't that many insects around to photograph. But one way I find I can still find a lot of subjects in winter is by looking at dead wood underneath logs or underneath bark of fallen tree trunks. And here I found what looks like a very good log that there might be some cool subjects underneath. Let's see what there is. At first it may seem like there's nothing there, but once you take a really close look, the underside of every log is absolutely teeming with life and lots and lots of tiny little organisms to photograph. Right here I found a tiny little brown centipede, which are usually very active and difficult to photograph. But this one seems to be staying quite still, so I'm going to see what I can get. So, first of all, I'm going to just try and find the subject in my frame. And as you can see, I've got really, really high magnification with this lens. And the very next thing I'll do is just to take a few single shots, just to get my settings right, and also just to have a documentation picture to get a good identification later in case it runs away before I can get a focus stack. Now, once I've got those, I'll switch to my other custom mode that I have set up for focus stacking, and I'll frame up for a focus stack, get another test shot to get my settings right, and then take a fast burst shot to get all of the frames I need for a focus stack. I also often like to get various different angles of the subject. So in this case, I got a side angle portrait, but I'm also gonna get one from the top down just to show the different shapes and textures. It's moving its antenna a little bit, but I think I'll be able to clean that up in post. Let's see how this turns out. Right next to the centipede, I've also found this tiny little weevil can barely see it, but here it is next to my finger for scale. And this is what the Laowa 25mm lens is really great for, is these tiny little subjects like this. Again, I'm going to take a few single shots just to make sure that I get the settings right. And then I will change my settings again. Change to my custom mode for focus stacking, so I've got it in a fast burst mode. Again, make sure I've got the settings right, and then I will take a focus stack. So, start right at the front of the subject, and... Get pictures all the way through. One thing that's always really important to keep in mind when you're flipping over logs or bark to find subjects in winter is to always place them back exactly the way you found them. So roll it back, just to not disturb the habitat too much. 
I've found this cool little nursery web spider under another log. So let's see if I can get a stack. They usually move quite fast, but it's worth a try. So I mentioned logs and bark before. The last few subjects I found were underneath logs that I rolled over. But another thing I always like to do is to just carefully lift back the bark on roll dead logs like this. And I'm pretty sure I see something cool underneath. So this appears to be what's called a buzzing spider. And I find these quite frequently underneath bark in winter. Let's see if I can get a picture. So one thing you may have heard me mention a few times previously in this video is focus stacking. And I'll do a more in-depth video on the subject later, but for now just to summarize quickly, basically focus stacking is a way to get around the very limited depth of field in macro photography. Basically at high magnifications there's only a very very small slice in focus, and with focus stacking basically I'm taking a series of pictures at different focus points and then merging them together in software on the computer to get the whole subject or a bigger portion of the subject in focus. Underneath another piece of bark, I found this big Ishnumon wasp of some sort. Now, this is quite a big subject for the Lawa 25mm, meaning I can't really get much other than a close cropped portrait, but it's still worth a try and I think it could be quite a nice picture. So I'm going to try for a head-on portrait here, and first of all I need to get the camera lined up. And once I have that, to get a stack, I'm going to move the camera a little bit back, just to the point that I think it is just before the first point that I want in focus. And then as I take a burst, I'm basically slowly moving the camera forward to get the whole head in focus. So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and let me know in the comments if you have any feedback or ideas for future videos. And also check out my Instagram, I post my photos much more regularly there. And yeah, see you in the next video! Also check out my Instagram, I post all of my- oh my god, is that a owl?